Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Bold CNC Words. My name is Nugent. Today we're going to be looking at how to design a clock or, diff or a lot of different types of clocks. So first of all, let's just go and create a circle. Now we want this, you can make this any size because we are working with vectors, which means if when you upscale them or downscale them, they will still be the same. Now let's make another circle. Yeah, eight by eight is fine. Let's just go back to the select tool. Drag and draw across both. And then we put the small circle inside of the little circle. Now let's just make a rectangle. We'll do 2 by 10 millimeters. Oh, let's make it 5. 2 by 5. And we will select this one as well as the bigger circle. And we are going to put it right in the middle. And then we're going to align it to the top. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making an array. Now we select the, the top one and the circle. Then we go to Array Tools. Now you will see it will ask us start in the middle, start at zero, walk all the way through to 360 degrees. And if we want to make this the the, 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 the ones for the time for the hour mark we will just leave this at 12 but we want this to be the minute mark so we will click OK then you will see all of them 16 total now what I want to do is I want this one to be 10 millimeters in length because I want the hour markers to also be more pro to be bigger than the rest of them. Just call it like that. Now we select that one again. The small circle because we need the array to revolve around a certain axis. Now as we know we have 12 hours in a day. So we will make it 12. And then you will see every five minutes there will be a tall a taller mark. Now basically you can leave it like this and just click on fill. I'm using shortcuts out P. See that's how it will look, but let's just rectify it. Just with the plus sign, you move, you zoom in. Let's just delete that one. That one, we delete the 12 short ones. Let's just delete them. So I skip a couple of them because I'm accidentally selecting the larger ones. Now let's go here. Just scroll down so we can delete the rest of them. Is that one we want? Yes, that's a small one. I want this one as well. And this one. This one and this one. Now, if you want, you can leave it just like this. Then you are basically done. Just put the outline, a different layer, make it a cut as well as this inside one. Also, make it a cut on the blue layer, and that's it. But if you want to put in let's say the number 12 or whatever 
we will select the 12 just make it a bit smaller and then select this and we will align it vertically and then we will move the 12 up same thing again select the 12 select the object that you want to rotate it around that would be the smaller circle and then we do we go into circle array now as you see it rotates the 12 around the, the array or around the circle the smaller circle now if you want you can deselect it then it will be horizontal with let's say the earth or whatever it will be like that but it's totally up to you just click ok and then double click delete delete three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven and there you have your watch or your clock now i would like to thank everybody for watching this video if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and share this video with everybody um, we will see you next time enjoy the day bye bye